What is going on my peeps? Your man Versal is back with another video. Back here to talk about another fun good lock module app within Samsung's ecosystem and it's called Keys Cafe. Yes, yeah, Samsung has finally given us the ability to customize the Samsung keyboard, thus giving us more of a reason to use it. Me, I love using the Gboard and I have been using uh, the Samsung keyboard a little bit more because of this Keys Cafe. I just do wish that they added the swipe back or the swipe on the backspace to delete multiple words as opposed to just letters. That's the one feature I really hope that Samsung can find a way to implement and integrate into the keyboard. But aside from that, there's really good functionality within the app that I'd like to show you guys. So before we get into that, make sure you guys, if you haven't already, and like the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos. So that way we can sit back, chillax, and see what's cracking. Now, let's get into Keys Cafe. So, I already have it downloaded. What I'm gonna do is open it up, fingerprint scan in, swipe up. Let's go to my Samsung folder up here. I'm gonna swipe over to the Good Lock module app right there. Boom. And then within here, if we go over to Family, you see Keys Cafe right there. Now, I know it's really bright. And because we're in here, I think I'm gonna tone down this just a little bit here so we can see it a lot better. Boom, how about that, bow? How about that, boom, right there. So if we click in the Keys Cafe, and, and what a fun animation it shows you. You can literally make your own keyboard, you can style your own keyboard, and you can play the, the keyboard game to basically show off the keyboard, I believe, as well. So I'm gonna show you guys mine real quick. Oh, never mind, it doesn't do that per se. What I'm going to do, oh, I guess it does. If I do this, now once I, now watch this. this. Now this is what my keyboard looks like now. Black letters, or black um, keys, white lettering, gray background. But watch when I type a word, you see the little splash behind it? The splash of color, you see that? I, you can do that and add that into this app. So upon deleting all that, that's what this looks like. And I have an emoji button now added into the keyboard space below so now it's not up here and I only have to rely on that now I can rely on it being as part of the keyboard much of the reason why I also like using the Gboard now I can do that right here you can also rearrange all of the symbols if you did indeed use symbol as part of the keyboard and not just a flush keyboard so how can you do that within this app well the first thing you probably want to do is go in to make your own keyboard so once you select that here, I have mine labeled Mark 1. The reason why is because I, who knows if I wanna make another one and I improve upon this or I wanna use a different keyboard for different purposes. Probably won't, but to be safe, I named it Mark 1. What we're gonna do is come in here and add one. So if we hit the plus, now it shows you a QWERTY keyboard. All those, right? All right, QWERTY, Quartz, Asserti, I'm gonna stick with Curdy, of course. Hit edit. Now this is where the fun begins. So here's your keyboard right here. When you click on one of these sections, you can change it out with options up here. So here are options for different symbols, numbers, you know, icons, you know, just other different use cases that you may want to use as part of a symbol instead of so like with A, there's an exclamation point. But let's say you want to remove the exclamation point well if you click a now it brings up the width and height of the actual key so because i have the numbers above there i don't need to integrate those into my keyboard and if you wanted to change the height watch this you just scale it up or the width you see how the a expands you can change it to be whatever size you want so we're going to just put it there for now and then if you want to change the height you can make it really small or really large so that's the height in terms of the keyboard, being able to change the keys width and height. Now, if I swipe over, then there's this as well. Left margin, you can, oh, see that I just realized. So if you wanna change the width of it, how much it actually fits in there, you can. And if you wanna do it to the other side as well or move everything away from it, you can do it as well. You can have a very, very customizable keyboard. Now, if you want to change the up and down, that ain't going nowhere <laughs> because I have all the space in there and if you can't push the keyboard down either. So it's actually pretty interesting. I was not expecting to see this right here. So I'm just going to put it right back where it was. 
So that is how you can change the keys, right? Now, if you wanna change the exclamation point, as you see right there in the A, you can remove that by hitting the delete button, trash button right there, and then clicking on one of these icons to place inside of there. So now whatever icons you want, you can use those. You can hit the star and choose icons over here as well. You can change all your icons or symbols behind the actual key. Isn't that pretty cool? I'm, I'm glad Samsung allows this customization. And of course you have many, many that you could <laughs> options to choose from just like that. You guys, you can actually add emojis into the keyboard. Now, I don't know if you can actually, oh, you can. Look at that. And the nice thing about Samsung's um, millisecond um, timing in terms of when you press and hold, it responds a lot faster than Gboard. So like when you you know press and hold, it responds a whole lot faster than Gboard for whatever reason, even though they both are set at like 0.3 milliseconds. So you can attach emojis. Let's say you don't want an emoji there. Maybe you want to add a, a different types of emojis. You want to add preset faces. I think you can, you can. You can add preset faces as well. And then if you swipe over again, you can add a whole word to the area. So if you don't want to have to type out a word all the time, you can just add it. So I might come back and adjust my keyboard because I actually didn't do the swipe through all these. I kept it really simple in terms of my customizations. Like I have my period attached to my eight and then I have more space down here for the space bar and for the emoji uh, icon down below. So. This is what you can also do. So let's say you're done with that, right? Now you're looking at, you don't want this here. let's say you want to get rid of that. All you have to do is delete. And now it's not there. So you can actually get rid of stuff as well. Now, what I would like to do is add the, let's see, where is it at? Right here. You can add the emoji or other icons such as, you know, cut, copy, paste, clipboard, and all that fun jazz, you can add that into the keyboard as well. So let's say I wanna add this, I could drop, I could drag and drop and add it right into the keyboard. And then if I want, I can adjust the size. So if we swipe back over to the width, I can, oh, what the heck happened there? Oh, it's on height. If I wanna change the width, if this thing would, okay, come on now. You can change the width like that, right? And then boom. You could do it, boom, just like that. So now, because what happens when I type is I often accidentally press the period or whatever this is. So that's why I wanted more space for the space bar when I'm typing. And I found much more pleasure out of that. But that's the point of Keys Cafe. You can customize it to literally what you want and how you want it with words, letters, symbols, icons, shortcuts. You have that at your disposal now. The only thing I wish you can you could add is the swipe back on the or the swipe on backspace to delete multiple items as opposed to just the letters that's the one thing samsung needs to really bring to their keyboard but keys cafe essentially solves the uh, the problem of customization and really making a keyboard fun or simple to use depending on your personal use case keys cafe is perfect once you finish you just hit the check icon up here at the top so upon hitting that you can call it a name i'm just going to call this sample for you, oh, I'm just gonna call this sample, and then I'm gonna hit save. And then what I can do now is exit out and make your own keyboard, and then go into style your own keyboard. So now upon coming into style, oh look. Now these are my themes. I'm confused because I'm a little surprised it's not actually showing me. Oh, so this is how you can see what you got going on right here. <clears throat> Come on now. All right, so upon hitting this, you can change you know, you can do your own, of course, or you can pick from recommended. Recommended has pretty pretty decent options. That's what I did. I just picked one of the recommended to really get a feel for what colors and stuff like that I wanted. And this is the one I ended up settling on. But they have really nice different schemes in here that you could choose from to stylize your keyboard. And so, and then once you pick your color, you come over here to effects. And in the effects, you can change how and what happens when you press the key and the animation of the key when you, uh, the color of the effect and the motion of the key. So of course I have mine look natural. So when you click it, it looks like it presses in as opposed to, you know, jumping out at you. But you can change the effects and the colors of your keyboard. Now, let me come back in here. Let me, um, 
the apply <laughs> my favorite keyboard so that way i don't forget later but that is keys cafe for you it's a i would say it's relatively simple to understand uh once you start maneuvering stuff you'll see that oh this is pretty this is pretty good so I hopefully i helped you guys see the value in keys cafe and made it very understandable so that way you guys can have fun customizing your own samsung keyboard remember samsung's keyboard also already has its own shortcuts where you can add words by just simply typing in you know shortcuts so i probably can show you guys that here real quick so if we swipe over go into settings and we come down here to it should be in general management language and input if we select the keyboard on screen keyboard and then we select this one All right click on settings i believe it's if it's not swipe or style and layout let's see here nope it's not in there text shortcuts so it's in smart typing you click on text shortcuts and i already have stuff in here of course but i have my address i have my email i have my website and i have my youtube all with shortcuts so whenever somebody asks me or i need to send them my information all i gotta do is just type in all these little shortcuts and pretty much all i did was add a y at the end to it <laughs> and i have all that set so that way when i want to send my address it's easy it's three it's two three seconds as opposed to 15 20 seconds trying to type all this stuff out so samsung has already built this into the keyboard but with keys cafe you can take that a whole lot further in good lock so again hope you guys appreciate enjoyed it hopefully you guys will have fun with keys cafe again let me know how you guys you know what would you guys think about keys cafe if you haven't used it before will you be using it does it look fun to use how have you been using it if you have let me know all that good stuff down in the comment section below. But if you haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that way you never miss my videos, so that way you can sit back, relax, and see what's cracking. It's your man Versal signing out, and until the next video, wait for it.